Hey guys, back with another video. This morning, we're going to talk about the stock NVOS. As you guys know, when I take a dive into two stocks from hell, sometimes we'll talk about stocks that have done well. Sometimes we'll talk about stocks that uh, have not done well. And this will be one of those cases, NVOS. I've traded it a number of time, times over the last uh, few months have at times made some money and at times not made money. So we'll take a look at the chart. I always tell you guys to start with the largest time frame so you get the big picture of what is going on. And before I get into that, now this is not disclaimer, investment advice, uh, I'm not a financial planner or um, I'm just someone who's made a, a great deal of money trading stocks. I certainly don't know it all. Um, but I know what I know, and I know uh, that uh, how I trade stocks tend to work and work well. So if you're interested in learning, uh, hit me up. So let's get to um, NVOS. NVOS, the bigger picture, we're looking at a, a monthly chart. The stock has run up uh, a couple of months ago to a high of 53.84, and then we had the news um, yesterday of a reverse split that even took you down past where you would uh, have logically found support around 1376 when we were in this uh, multi-month channel here where the high, this was the uh, resistance area for the longest time and then support obviously was, you know, down in this range in here. So, um, the stock, you know, has taken a big dump. I think part of the problem with this particular company is they've had failed promises, a lot of hype uh, over the last uh, couple of months about, uh, you know, some sort of billion dollar transfer asset deal, et cetera, et cetera. Some people took that to mean that they were going to get a billion dollars, which the, certainly they've never said that. Uh, they have a lot of grandiose plans, uh, but... I don't know how much of it has come to fruition. Um, so what has happened? They announced a reverse split. You can see that more clearly looking at the smaller time frames. When we look at a weekly chart, you certainly see the precipitous 50 plus percent uh, drop uh, yesterday. So. You know, it's a complete just about round trip. You started at seven cents. You ran up to 53 plus. You double topped in here. You 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 began the downtrend going down in here. And then you announced the reverse split news. They needed to do a reverse split because they could not find a way to get their stock price above a dollar and to hold the dollar for 10 consecutive days. So you affect a reverse split, which is happening today. You see right here, uh, the close yesterday was 12, just over 12 cents. They affected a one for 10 reverse split and it's up a little bit, you know, pre-market. It's currently 5.13 in the morning, uh, Eastern Standard Time. So where do you go from here, you guys? Um, here's your... Uh, drop yesterday. Obviously, um, today's uh, action hasn't been recorded yet or hasn't been, it doesn't show up on the chart yet until uh, 9.30. Uh, it will start to see it uh, at some point on the chart uh, when the market opens pre-market. Uh, you can look in, at smaller time frames to give you an idea of what's going on. So we're looking at a 15-minute chart we're, we're sh showing you this certainly before most people can buy. Most people cannot buy this stock until 7 a.m. So um, unless maybe you trade with like a Weeble or somebody who, who has some uh, options for you to, to be able to do that. So if you're up and you're at them and you're, you're, you're looking at this stock prior to uh, 9.30, then you'll want to keep an eye on the smaller time frames. So this is kind of what we look like. Um, remember where you actually um, had money in it after the drop or even before the drop. So you kind of get an idea of 
of where you're starting from and then take that number times 10 to, to, to help guide you through it. Um, so for me today, uh, I own it. I don't own a whole lot of it, uh, maybe about $1,500 worth. Um, we're just below break even uh, at the moment. I bought it, um, I was in it uh, low 14s and then it kept dropping. So I didn't know if I was going to exit it uh, or am I going to play the game and uh, see what kind of news they come up with. The problem is with this company, they, again, they fail to communicate well enough with their audience to make the audience uh, feel confident in what they're doing. So there are a couple of catalysts that are still out here. One being that they actually say that they started buying back shares. Number two would be uh, more news on the release of funds. And I believe I read a report that uh, that would happen uh, during the next two to three business days. So sometime this week, uh, then the question is, you know, is it um, buy the rumor, sell the news? Uh, there's a lot of conversation out here about the float being reduced to about 15, 15 and a half million and what that may or may not mean for the stock. The, the company has to keep this stock price above a dollar for 10 days. So if the shorts come in here soon, trying to drive it down, the company has to be very strategic to ensure that this stock does not go below a dollar. So if that is the case, and, 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 and most of you guys know that that should be the case, uh, or you're wasting time with this reverse split, then one could say that they probably have some sort of news that would be coming uh, or a series of news releases and PRs to ensure that, again, that the stock stays above a dollar so that they could be NASDAQ compliant. So be careful how you play it. I may buy some if we dip down in here towards a dollar to average my cost down. Uh, and then I'll say the four letter bad word, hope. <laughs> hope is not a strategy, you guys. Hope that uh, they actually do what they should do. And then uh, I can unwind this position and get out. So right now, as it relates to two stocks from hell, this stock would actually be a stock from hell. But it doesn't mean you cannot trade around uh, what is going on, make smart decisions to be able to uh, uh, have a, uh, a profitable trade. So hope some of this information helps. Um, again, if you need to take a deeper dive into stocks, um, I'll uh, put some information in the description box for those of you that are looking for training. For those of you that don't know, I took uh, about $5,000, turned it into almost $3 million in 2020. Haven't really looked back since. Uh, I've had a lot going on over the last couple of years, but uh, it's been good to say the least. Uh, I've got a, I've got a way with which I uh, trade stocks and uh, it has served me well uh, for the last three years. So any of that interests you, hit me up. If not, no worries. As always, trade well.